Cut them out. Netflix faced backlash as release Meg's scene groping Harry behind the Invictus Games wings. Meghan Markle appears only briefly in Prince Harry's new Netflix series, The Heart of Invictus, in scenes where she supports the Duke. However, she's still criticised because of a gesture in Harry's in the film. Harry released his Invictus Games documentary on Netflix. He's its executive producer, and the show forms part of the Sussex's deal with Netflix. Meghan makes very few appearances in the five-episode series, appearing to give a speech about service, as well as on a number of occasions to offer comment and support to Harry. The Duchess only appears on camera in four of the episodes of the five-part docuseries. In a most prominent moment, Meghan is shown speaking at the opening ceremony of the games to introduce Harry to the stage, in footage which was aired live at the time. Elsewhere, during the first episode of the series, Meghan can be seen as she joins Harry at the November 2021 Salute to Freedom Gala in New York. The couple can be seen arriving at the event as the Duke confides in the Duchess how nervous he is for an upcoming speech. He tells her, We haven't done this for a while, while Meghan responds, I know. Harry continues, My heart's like digga 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 digga. Another snippet shows the couple walking out onto the stage at the games with Meghan saying it looks incredible. Before the two performed a scene of hugging each other behind the wings, making many fans wonder if this was a movie for veterans or a movie about this couple's love. They were groping each other at a charity event. Some viewers asked Netflix to cut Meghan's entire scene out of the movie. What a couple of bell ends making it all about themselves as usual. Harry's looking nervous, lovingly stroking Meghan's back. They don't understand or care that this over touchy feely behaviour is distracting and takes attention away from the cause. And it's so performative and immature, even if they were inadvertently caught on camera doing this, it shouldn't have been included in the documentary. If you're here, Netflix release another version of Heart of Invictus where you edit the duo out of the documentary. At the time Netflix agreed to this, they thought they had a likeable hero, Harry Prince at the focal point for the docuseries. Big mistake. When they edited out Meghan to the minimum, the director should have scrubbed 80% of Harry as well. Would have been better for it. Six minutes in Heart of Invictus and Prince Harry is centre. Yes, he's interviewing lightly, but just more of him in front of the camera saying how he has his kids and dogs. The red nope dress is back too. It's weirdly forced in, focusing on Harry and don't watch. Only made 12 minutes. It's about Prince Harry saying he had to run from combat because his location was leaked. Then says he's angry the media didn't cover more about soldiers getting hurt. Seriously? In another scene, Harry's preparing for his speech at The Hague while holding several pieces of scruffy looking paper as he jokes, this is how not to give a speech. As Harry laughs somewhat nervously, Meghan stands behind him in a crisp white suit and smiles as the couple's advisor James Holt takes a look over the Duke's notes. Harry shows up with nothing but sunglasses because the assistant did all of the work. She shows up with a pen and empty binder because she's cosplaying important. This woman is so lame. This makes it look like Meghan is the founder and first lady of Invictus Games, and the man to the right is just alone for the ride. 